Hi Church. This weekend, as we celebrated the resurrection, we looked at what happens when the risen Savior calls our name. And the truth of the Bible is that Jesus knows our name, that God the Father knows our name, that he is intimately acquainted with us and he calls us. And we looked at three calls, the call the call to come to Jesus, the call to follow Jesus, and the call to be like Jesus. And there's a, those are encouraging words that we that Jesus wants to have a relationship with us, that he wants us to come. But if we're going to follow Jesus, if we're going to be like Jesus, or grow in Christ likeness, then we need to do the things that he did. We need to obey the things that he said. And those things aren't always easy. And so perhaps this week, while the crucifixion, the resurrection, while this sacrifice of our Savior and his love for us is fresh in our mind, we can take a look at one of the harder things that he said to do. And this is found in Luke um, chapter 6, verses 27 and 28. I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. And as we think about the example of Jesus as he hung on the cross and said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. As we think about the fact that the Bible tells us that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Perhaps we can extend that love and forgiveness to those around us. So I would encourage you today, if there's somebody who comes to your mind when you hear those words, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you, that I would encourage you to begin with prayer, to lay that person before the Lord and to pray good things for them, but to also to pray that God would help you, that the Holy Spirit would help you, would empower you to take a step toward walking in Jesus' footsteps and offering forgiveness and offering love and doing those things that would indicate that we are following him, that we are growing like him. Jesus' death on the cross was a terrible ordeal. His resurrection is our victory. And because of those things, the Holy Spirit can empower us to do the hard things that Jesus calls us to do.